Now two women were harlots that came to the king and stood before him. Let's take a look at our screens and let's see how this works out here. The seven people here today. There is great interest in the next case, my lord. It came before the provincial governor of Gilead, Old Belgeba. The facts are simple, but the case very complex. Your judgment is eagerly awaited. And my lord king. The facts of this case are well established and are not in dispute. The two petitioners share a house on the outskirts of Gilead, where they ply their trade as prostitutes. As some of six months ago, one gave birth, and shortly thereafter the, the second did likewise. Both had boy children. This dispute arose. After one of the babies died, you may each state your case. You go first, you lying cow. Huh? Then I'll tell the truth. Well, we each have our own room. Are you a citizen of this country? Yet you show no respect to your king. <laughs> Now rise. State your name and the facts as you see them. My name is Basil. It was just us in the house. Us and our babies. I'd gone to bed with little Joachim. That's his name. Michael! Michael is his name! Silence! Joachim went to sleep and I've given him a good meal and he was a happy little baby. Well, that pig must have rolled on her baby and killed him because when I woke up there was her baby beside me, dead, and my Joachim was gone. Liar! Silence! Was no midwife present? No, madam. Lay the child on that table. My judgment is this. Since both women claim the living child and neither claim the dead child, it is therefore fair that they should share the living child. So I will cut the child in half.
bless this child. His children's children. Most of all, his true mother. Judge in such a matter. 